bonjour à tous. Euh, donc pour finir, euh, pendant que tout le monde ne dort pas, on n'est pas parti, euh, on va vous parler brièvement, donc en 5 minutes, du, euh, de la gestion du cache HTTP dans Easy Publish. Euh, en quelques mots, on a un gros historique de gestion du cache. C'est une de nos compétences, un de nos fléaux. Euh, et en passant à Symfony 2, on s'est retrouvé avec de nouveaux, nouvelles problématiques euh, et de nouvelles solutions, dont une dont on aimerait vous parler ici. Ok, je vais switch to English, si c'est ok. Il yeah. n'a no idea what I'm saying. Introduce way more than I kind of planned. But uh, okay, uh, just to uh, also jump over another slide. Uh, EC, uh, been using PHP since 1999. Uh, that's it. Next. <laughs> um, so uh, we could. What did you say in French? You should stick to English so I can. Otherwise, I cannot. Yeah. So I just explained uh, that we had a long story with cash, uh, that we are good with it and we are also doomed by it. Okay, like so anybody. what I wanted to say for the intro is that um, I also s had this talk at SymphonyCon, but today uh, you could basically take the short version and say you should use Fast um, Cache Bundle, HDB Cache Bundle, where um, there is some uh, work from uh, Yoli code. And uh, we're trying to participate and uh, contribute um, uh, more code of what we have here so it can be used in a general way. Uh, just a short overview of uh, where you would find cache in uh, EC Publish. Uh, it's a bit uh, different than uh, standard, uh, standard Symphony. It's a bit more. Um, because we are a full-fledged uh, CMS, so we do the persistence, we are using Doctrine for this. And um, we have uh, all out-of-the-box stuff for dealing with this over REST and so on. So, but what we're talking about here, the context of our HTTP cache, it's on the top. So it's what you already know from Symfony. It's uh, just extended. It's um, basically a very awesome HTTP cache. Uh, we also call this transparent cache. Uh, the point of this is that it's, it's transparent uh, to the end user. It's transparent to you as a developer, hopefully. That's at least what we aim for. For those that use our old uh, CMS, they know that uh, there was a joke, uh, have you deleted the cache was like always the answer to if you have a problem. We're trying to avoid that, um, even if it's a very cool pun. Uh, but from a code perspective, this is basically how you handle your cache. And the answer is you don't. It's done by the public API and the, the interfaces below. Uh, everything is supposed to be transparent, so when you do an update on uh, your content, um, every variation of that um, content on your web page is basically purged. I don't know if you want to add anything there. We can, you can maybe talk about the next slide, because it shows uh, what we're talking about, maybe in a more approachable way. Bon, je vais parler en français, je brieferai André après. Euh, donc ça, c'est un rendu de page classique, c'est un rendu d'un site Symfony, euh, bon, site EasyPublish, donc Symfony, Symfony, pardon, Twig, euh, avec des ESI, en tout cas des sous-parties. Et la partie qui nous intéresse ici, euh, c'est dans quel contexte notre cache est valide et peut être réutilisé. Euh, dans EasyPublish, on avait, une, comme j'ai dit, une grande expérience du cache. Et pour nous, quelque chose qui était acquis, c'est qu'un cache doit être contextuel au contenu euh, et contextuel à l'utilisateur. Euh, contexte de contenu égale quand je vais publier un élément qui apparaît via une relation de contenu à un autre endroit du site, cet élément doit aussi expirer. Donc ça, ce sont nos règles de contenu, règles qu'on a naturellement réimplémentées sur euh, EasyPublish 5 avec Symfony. Euh, euh, donc ces règles-là, c'est simplement des règles sémantiques de relation entre les contenus qui visent à expirer le bon contenu au bon endroit. Le deuxième élément qui est intéressant euh, est le vary x user hash qui se trouve en haut, où on a... Euh Pardon I think we should move on to behind the scenes. I think you're already talking about it, right? Kind of. Should we? Yes, you can. Um, behind the scenes, I think you... Were you talking about view cache in here? Um, content, content context and user. Okay. Uh, it's uh, basically in the background, there's a standard purging on the ID. But in addition, there's a lookup um, on, um, on all kind of relations, parent, children, and whatsoever. Uh, which you have uh, defined in your configuration, uh, and be able to also purge that if you, uh, you need it. So, but uh, you were in the middle of... That's okay. It's okay. Yeah, and um, basically also do this per, um, per user variation. 
So I think that's more or less our time. We have 20 seconds left, so we can like just say use the bundle in the future. It has everything. So we plan to help out there and make uh, everything uh, available.